your scorecard, uh, your score on this card you have of your competitors. You do not transfer them back to each other when you're done. You go to the scoring table. You're going to read off your score, the guy you're keeping it for, you verify it. Once you verify it, that's like signing. Okay. Have sign, no signing card. No giving. Okay, please welcome to number one T for the 120 starting time. Playing out of Dragonfly, Michael Wobelin. Oh, yeah, my amigos. Let's get going. Fresno City Amateur. Fresno, California, 2020. This is the 93rd annual. Let's get going, my amigos. Hold one, par four, 380 yards. Big fade. Sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Sloppy fade, but uh, I got away with it. I had a little slot right here. Uh, I believe I had my nine iron right there. And I maybe had like 134 yards. I just punched it. Punched it right through, try to get through it. Uh, hit it short of the green and then it bounded forward all the way back to the green. This is the back of the green. So I'm putting maybe about 35 feet. Okay, okay, a little short. All right, a little short. Maybe about three feet and this is for par. All right, that's nice. Nice and easy does it, kid. You guys are looking sharp, my amigos. Let's go. Hole two, part three, 200 yards. I was trying to draw this. Pin was on the right-hand side towards the back of the green. I wanted to come up short. I hit on the skirt, and then it rolled up to this spot here. Okay, that was about 25 feet and I'm short again. Okay, so that's not great. Remember, this is uh, after the week that I had hit 250 putts per day for two weeks. All right, so I should feel pretty comfortable. Here we go, this is for par and it was probably about four feet. And I got it, nice. All right, you know, I, I'm pushing it by doing that. I shouldn't be having those long putts for par. Hole three, par four, 379 yards. Uh, I hit it right in the middle, but it bounded up on top of this little hill right here. If you take a look at this, this is big trouble right here, guys. Um, I should have choked up a little bit more. I did choke up a tiny bit, maybe about two inches on the club. It wasn't enough. I also aimed at that telephone pole right there in the background, just to the right of that, and yet it still hooked on me. So yeah, that was a big problem right there. Ouch. Uh, I ended up hitting just on the skirt, and then it jumped over into this really thick stuff right here. Okay, so I bounced that up, got it to roll up, not too bad, and then I've got uh, what is this? Maybe about six feet, seven feet downhill to the right. Okay, I was aiming left cup. And never turned. It was actually a perfectly straight putt. So I missed that for par and that was a bogey. Okay, here we go. Hole number four, par four, 423 yards. All right, so a little bit sloppy there. That was a big ballooning fade uh, from left to right. I lose probably about 15, 20 yards by doing that. And then, uh, this is a long shot right here. I had my six iron, it was 182 yards. Or 178 yards, and I know you have to club up twice and just swing softer, open the face of the club, and I didn't do that. Instead, I try to push it 
with the six iron. I should have gone five iron. I pushed it with the six, and so it faded into this spot right here. <laughs> I sculled that over the green. It's okay, I can still bogey this, okay? So I was just thinking bogey, 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 it's okay. If I hold this out, great. This is my 54 degree. That was not bad. I ended up hitting it on the pin and it rolled out just a little bit to this spot. So here we go. This is for bogey. Maybe about eight feet, nine feet. Oh, just low. That was aggressive too, my friends. Uh, yeah, I was trying to gun for, actually I think I was probably gunning for the middle of the cup. I just said hit it aggressively. That's a bogey. Mistake. Okay, I'm two over, two over. Here we go. This is hole five. Part three, 158 yards. Uh, I was probably going with my eight iron. I should have gone with my seven iron, gone long and left. That was the safe play. I ended up going right after it. it was, this is my eight iron, which goes about 162, maybe 165. But uh, I bailed on it just a little bit, put it in the bunker. Uh, I didn't stage this shot very well because it was a lot to do. So I just uh, left my cart all the way over here and I need to get out of this, get up and down out of this bunker. I use my 60 degree wedge. Okay, taking a look at it, here we go. Actually, you know what, we were allowed to drop. So I took a drop right there because there's no rakes allowed in the bunker. So I took a drop backwards to get a better lie. That was complete, completely within the rules. Okay, and then this is maybe a footer eight footer and I missed that and that's a bogey so I went bogey double bogey no bueno no bueno that's four over all right let's continue hole six 546 yards this is a par five uh what did I do here I hit a pretty good shot I went right in the middle this was a good drive right here all right, not too frustrated. I'm kind of just chugging along, not a big deal. I don't get too frustrated. I just know that I need to make up. It just puts a little bit more pressure on my game. It makes me need to birdie a lot more holes, and that's all right. Here we go. I had maybe about uh, 240 right here. I was uh, right in the middle, ball just above my feet. I attacked it. I, w I went very aggressively right there. Um, I came up a little bit short and then used my 54 degree So that's a little bit sloppy in terms of technique, but I put it right on the pin and I was really happy with that. Even my competitor said, I don't, I don't know if that's what you were trying to do, but that was a good shot. In other words, meaning terrible technique, excellent result, which it was. So this is for birdie right here, maybe about four feet. Uh, left to right, pretty makeable, nothing special. Actually, that was more like three feet, maybe three and a half. But that's a good birdie. Okay, so uh, back to three over, my friends. Not bad. Not too bad. Here we go, let's continue. This is hole number seven, par four, 363 yards. I'm aiming left side. I'm trying to hit a big ballooning fade. I'm okay with the fade right here. But at the same time, I'm, I, at the same time, I'm trying to hit like a burner, like a low BB shot to keep it as low to the ground as possible to eliminate mistakes. And that wasn't too bad. I hit a pretty good shot. Okay, and right there, I just went with my pitching wedge. I had 121 in. Thank you, sir. 
backing off just because you don't want to go long. Short is okay. Uh, I didn't realize where they had put the pin. I thought the pin was right in the middle. Uh, I came up well short of it. So this is a tough uh, right to lefter. All right, big bend on this one. Maybe about 25 feet. And I just went way above. I hit it way too hard. Uh, line was right, but I just hit it way too hard. So I ended up going like directly behind the hole and it left me a tough, tough downhiller. Uh, I believe it's left to right. It's a tough putt. Here we go. Oh, I can see it, the jab. The old jab of walking. And I ended up lipping, lipping out. Just lipped out and back to four. Four over, again. All right, here we go. Hole eight, par three, 178 yards. I went with my seven iron, which is typically around 172 yards. Uh, 177 max. I don't, and that was a good swing, my amigos. Look at that. I even put down my head. I thought everything was great, and it, it was great, but it hit right in the middle, and then it jumped um, all the way to the back of the green, and then that, that left me this tough um, left to right putt, and it was downhill. I didn't want to clobber it. I knew it was a difficult putt. I ended up leaving it short, well short. And this is not looking good, my friends. Okay? It's not looking good. So this is, uh, what do you say? Maybe about eight feet downhill right to left. Bingo, bingo! That never left the middle of the cup. All right, so that's not too bad. Whew, I'm not lying. I was wiping my brow. Here we go. Four over, hole nine, par five. 545, big fade. Um, you know, I think I actually hit that one low, and it just, it started center and went too far to the right. So it put me in a little bit of a bind in this thick stuff which doesn't allow me to get my three wood on it, right? Uh, luckily, I was in the shade, and that's good for the skin. That's always good. I love the shade. So here we go. I'm trying to make a decision. This is a tough decision. Should I go aggressively? Should I back off? Should I go aggressively, or should I back off? Decisions, decisions. Here we go. I'm sorry? I think you said two, what'd you say? I had 297 to the pin. Hip on the, hand on the hip there says that I'm thinking. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do, ba ba ba, what to do. Plum dee dum, dum da dum. Okay. All right, so I said, let's do it. Let's gun for it, right? Try to get it down there as far as I can. I know I can play a fade. I know I can keep it in the middle, and I just needed to punch it out out of this really thick. Oh, perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Right down the middle, it faded just a little bit and left me 120 in. Okay, that's my pitching wedge right there. Uh, I just played a little bit of a draw. I just released the club a little bit. I aimed at the right side, at the center of the green. I knew it was in the back. I knew I wanted to be short of it. That, that could be fine. And uh, I might have added a little bit of spin. Okay, so uh, that left me a pretty good putt birdie opportunity, maybe about 
9 feet, 10 feet. Here we go. This is right to left. Good putt. Yeah. Good four. Yeah. And you had three on the eight, right? Oh, yeah. So that's good, guys. I took it back to three over um, after nine holes. Thanks for tuning in. We got more action coming up. Stay tuned for the backside, for the back nine of this match. Oh, yeah.